Hi everyone, I'm Cody W3AMG with Bridgecom Systems and today we are going to be showing you how to bulk change the hotspot frequency on your radio. So if you have a radio set up for a hotspot but your hotspot is actually on a different frequency, we're going to show you how to easily change all of the frequencies in your radio to match up with that. Now there is a much easier way to do this which we'll show you first and then we'll show you how to do it with the radio just in case you really do want to migrate to that other frequency. Let's get into it. Perfect, so we've got our radio set up here and we have it plugged into our computer. Now I also have my Skybridge Plus hotspot. Uh, now we will want to get onto the hotspot. I wanna show you a much easier method first. Um, so you want to simply look at the IP address and go to that, so let's see, 192.168.1.177. So we'll type that in on the computer. It's one of the nice things about the Skybridge. It actually displays that information so you don't have to mess around with routers and other IP addresses trying to find that. So it's super easy to log into. So we've got this pulled up here. Just open the web browser. Any web browser will work on the same network. Type that in and then we can click on configuration. Now at this point, uh, username is going to be pi-star and password is raspberry. Sign in. Awesome, so now that we are inside of our hotspot, uh, by far the easiest method is going to just be to change the frequency to match your radio. So we can see 446.550. So if you have your code plug set up on, let's say 446.550, but your hotspot's on a different frequency, it's gonna be a lot easier for you to log in and change your hotspot than it is to, to change the radio. So that's what I'd recommend. But let's say you really do want to migrate over to a different frequency, we'll show you how. So I'm going to change this from 446.550 to 446.525. 446.525 and then just click apply changes. So now our hotspot is on a different frequency. So now we can actually change the radio over. Awesome, so first step, we're gonna open up the CPS and click on the COM port button up here, make sure our radio is connected. We can see it, there it is. And now we're going to click on the button to the left of it called the read from radio, click on that. And we're not gonna bother with saving current changes there. Uh, so you want to click OK, read from radio. Do you wish to continue? Absolutely. And we just need to read the other data. That's what we're doing here. Won't affect the digital contact list at all, so you shouldn't need to involve it. Awesome, we are all set. So we have uh, this here. So we should be good to go uh, in terms of our information. So what you want to do is go up to Tool, and now we're going to go to Export. Um, now in this case, all we really need to export is the channel. So I'm just going to export the channel. Uh, we'll save it to the desktop. How about um, 446.550? We'll save it there and click export. Play that worked. Perfect. Export complete. Uh, now we're going to just minimize this back out of here and go to our desktop. There we go, 446550, there's our file. So you just wanna open the, this up in some kind of numbers processor, whether that's like uh, Google Sheets or Excel or some other program out there, lots of options. So I'm gonna use Excel in this case. There we go, so we've got it opening up here. So once you have the, uh, the code plug open, uh, you can see the different frequencies. There's a few different ways you could do this. You could do a find and replace. Uh, that would be super easy for this. Um, now what I'm going to do is a little bit different, but uh, make sure I don't overwrite anything I don't want to. Um, now you can also use the same method, and we have other videos that show you how, to change from a hotspot to a repeater frequency. So if you purchased an ultra code plug and you want to use it with your local repeater, uh, very similar method. You just have to change about, I think, two more things, the color code and the time slot, and you're up and running that way too. So in this case, we just want to change the frequency, so 446. Not five, oops, five, two, five. So I'm gonna type that in, in one of the cells. 
And what I'm gonna do is click on it and then drag this little box. Generally, there's a box you can drag, uh, like I said, or you could do find and replace. We're just gonna drag that. And, and you'll see if I stop here, it's going to replace all of them. So I'm gonna drag this all the way down I'm gonna pay attention here because there could be other frequencies I don't wanna overwrite, like those. So we'll replace all of them. And I'm just gonna leave everything else alone. So we'll go back up to the top here, and do that again. Uh, since it's a hotspot and simplex, they're both gonna be the same. So 446, uh, 525, perfect. Now let's drag this down, just like that. And this is a great way to change other information or if you want to add a large quantity of channels, you can do it this way. Like I personally like to scan uh, the railroad channels. So I was able to just go in and add those 100 channels very easily without having to add them one by one because that takes forever. You can easily add a list of channels and then just tweak the other information to make it match in the different columns and you're set. So we're done here. Now all we have to do is just go to export it uh, let's see, so we can do a save as. Uh, we'll go to desktop, perfect. So we'll change the name, 525 CSV. We'll save that. Great, we're all set here. Um, so we can get out of our spreadsheet now and go back over to the CPS. Now we're gonna go back up to tool. This time we're going to go to import. Click OK. And then you're gonna click on channel again because we just exported the channel. And we'll take the one that we want. So 525, just like that, import. We're just gonna give it a minute here to import that and then we're gonna write it back to the radio. Import complete, awesome. So we're set, now we're just gonna make sure the radio is still connected, which it is and click the button to the right of the COM port button that says right to radio. Do you wish to continue? Absolutely. And then uh, we just need the other data for this. So click OK. And we are gonna be rocking and rolling. Now we've already changed the hotspot over. So we can test it out here and make sure it works. There we go, perfect. So we're powered back on. Let's try it out. Testing one, two, three. This is W3AMG trying out my newly programmed radio. Testing one, two, three. This is W3AMG trying out my newly programmed radio. There we go. How cool is that? So we changed the hotspot and then we were able to very easily change all of the channels in our radio over to match that new hotspot frequency. So there you have it. Uh, what I would recommend doing if you're in a situation where things are misaligned frequency wise, it's going to be a lot easier for you to just go change the hotspot frequency in general. But if you don't want to do that or you want to change frequencies for any other reason, this is real simple to do too. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you learned something from today's video. If you did, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell next to it to make sure you don't miss out on any more great content. That's all I have for you today. I'm Cody, W3AMG, 7-3.